actual mechanisms that underlie food seeking and food preference are far more interesting than that. There are basically three channels in our body and nervous system by which we decide what foods to pursue, how much to eat, and whether or not we will find a particular food attractive, whether or not we will want to consume more of it, whether or not we want to avoid it, or whether or not it's just sort of so-so, what I refer to as the yum, yuck, or meh analysis. And indeed, that's what our nervous system is doing with respect to food. So let's talk about what these three channels for food preference are. The first one is an obvious one. It's taste on the mouth. It is the sensation that we have of the foods that we eat while we're chewing them. And those sensations, which are literally just somatosensory touch sensations, you know, the, the uh, palatability of food as it relates to the consistency of food. That's important. And as you've all heard before, we have sensors on our tongue and elsewhere in our mouth that detect the various chemicals contained within food and lead to the senses of taste, which we call bitter, sweet, umami, salty, and sour. The umami receptor is a receptor that responds to the savory taste of things. So that's uh, what you might find in a really wonderfully rich tomato sauce. For those of you that eat meat and like meat, um, a really well-cooked, not necessarily well done, but properly cooked, I should say, steak, uh, if that's your thing. And umami is present in both plant and animal foods. 